Hello everybody, welcome back to Geek Heart Games. I am Cody, and we're back with another episode of I Can Show You the Monster Hunter World. Last time we left off, we were about to explore Asteria, our new hub world, so let's uh, let's get to it. Load screens are fun. Hope you guys have been having a good time. Sorry if this series is coming a little late. Um, kind of still trying to work out kinks and stuff with... Uh, our scheduling, so we'll get to it eventually. Hope you guys enjoy the first episode. Now you can go back and watch it. Enjoy it a second time, hopefully. A lot of cool stuff coming to Monster Hunter World. I'm really excited. Um, they have the Spring Festival starting soon. Uh, I can't wait to get my butterfly armor because I'm going to rock that like the cool guy I am. And this is uh, all right. There you go. Okay, I'll give you the grand tour. Oh wow, they just Let's start, start by right looking here. for your palico. This right. is our stockpile. They carry most of the basic necessities. You should it's drop by later to see what they have. Asteria is this big hub hub world, and most of your stuff you're gonna need is right here at the beginning because you can buy stuff. These people over here will give you uh, investigations and Next bounties. Is the it's this way. It's where we're going right now. It's where you're gonna build your armor. Over here. Technically, you could take this thing. So yeah, you can't take it right now, but so that will let you get hmm. to the smithy a little bit faster. Actually, you can go anywhere up there. You're with the commission's fifth fleet, right? The old man in charge, my grandfather, was with the first. But that was a long time ago. Me? I'm not with any fleet. Born and bred right here. This guy's voice sounds familiar because he is Matthew Mercer. And he plays McCree in Overwatch. And other things. He's in a lot of things. So right up here to our right, this will be the smithy. Here's our smithy. This is where you can craft weapons and armor. You'll be here a lot. Wow! Look at this place! He's not joking, you will be here a lot because I am constantly making armor weapons. Ooh, it's toasty in here. Want to get going? Alright, next where we're going is see? where you I can eat. So, there. so eating in this game gives you buffs. So you can get attack up, hmm. defense up, and elemental resistance up. Um, you kind of want to try to get certain things. Like there's certain monsters who do a lot of elemental here. damage. So you want to get the elemental uh, up, resistance up. Um, but sometimes you just want some attack, you know? Okay, cool. Let's see. This here. here's our canteen. Of course, mm. one of the best characters in the game is here. Hey, uh -oh. over there! It's not at our palico, even though. Hey, you! It's gonna be nice to see Sam again. What up, Sam? I don't know why you're so excited to see the handler. Uh. Not me, you jerk. <laughs> At horn. Something attacking? Right. They're calling for a council. Come on. Yeah. Out of the cutscene at the beginning. Now that you are all here, let us begin council. After tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea, the fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. Give them a warm welcome. They're a fine group, worthy oh, comrades who will help see the research commission's long efforts. Finally rewarded. That's so nice. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, sir. We're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. Well, okay, I don't know about that. I don't I don't really like get my hands dirty. Like it's something this here really. is the commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. Now, down to business. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros. That was like a huge guy. monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Elder Dragons have been with us since the dawn that of time. That palico too is really beefed up. It's really awesome. Altering he cooks your food for you. Reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. 
Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. But for what reason? With the Fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking! Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes him tick, and we'll go from there. Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now we're talking! Yeah. You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. The fifth banner promises a change Get a little in the cocky, but it's your job to fulfill that promise. We can do. All right. Dismissed. Mhm. Mm ah, another thing after. All right. I haven't here a whole day, and are already got your first mission. You really are ready to get your hands dirty. Well, look. Let's go look into this Jagger's problem. But you'll need a weapon Over first. Here. There's a box full of equipment you can use in your quarters. Come on, I'll show you the way. Uh, so that he's going to show us where we li usually live. Um, there will be a number of reasons why you want to come back here. Head inside your room so you can grab yourself a weapon. Doesn't look like much now, but once we progress in the game, we'll get a nice little, uh, little suite. We've placed some basic gear for you in that equipment box. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you. Alright, so now we get to pick a weapon. Um, I'll kind of go through a little bit of what all the weapons are. So we have the great sword, pretty much slow hitting, but also heavy attacks. Uh, really good for if you want to see by big numbers. Uh, this is this is definitely like rudimentary. Like there's definitely guides out there that make it sound better than I can. I'm just giving like a basis. If you've never played a Monster Hunter game, this is like a new player to another new player. How I would describe these. Uh, the uh, long sword is. Agile, um, you pretty much, there's a very basic combo, but if you can get good at the combo, um, you can pretty much whiz in and out of battle and never get hit. Uh, the, hun the Hunter's Knife is the shield, Sword and Shield. Uh, it's caught a beginner's weapon, but actually it's a lot of fun. Um, you're doing fast, heavy attacks, constantly critting. Um, you can pretty much get an endless combo going if you can dodge in and out. Dual Blades are fast attacking. Um, you cannot, like, block or dodge. You can dodge really well, but you can't block. So you do have a higher risk of getting hit, but if you can choose your moments, you'll get a lot of damage in. The hammer was my first ever weapon. I loved it. Um, slow hitting, just like the greatsword, but also a lot better for knocking out monsters. So if you want to knock monsters out, get a lot of damage going, that's what you want to roll with. Uh, the hunting horn is the only weapon I have never used, because I not good with it, but uh, you it's similar to the hammer where you get a lot of KO p uh, potential, but you're also playing songs that buff you and your friends. The lance is a pretty standard weapon. Uh, you have a very ba very basic combo, and it's probably one of the easiest uh, weapons to learn, uh, but one of the harder ones to master. Gun lance? It's a gun. And a lance. No said. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Pretty much similar to the Lance, where you can learn some basic combos, but then if you can master the expert combos, you'll be doing tons of crazy damage. The switch, uh, switch axe is both a sword and an axe. You will switch back and forth uh, and build a meter, and once you fill up the meter on the sword part, you do some crazy damage. The axe helps for you to hit high monsters who are possibly flying. The charge blade, um, you build up charges and files stored in the sword, then you put them in the shield, and eventually you can do super uh, heavy attacks that do tons of damage. 
the insect glaives goes alongside these insects right here. You pretty much uh, give yourself a buff through these insects and then you can do powerful combos based on the buffs you have. The light bow gun and the heavy bow gun. Um, light bow gun gives you a little bit more mobility than the heavy bow gun, but both are pretty much a gun that you shoot uh, certain types of bullets out of. Uh, they have a special ammo. The wyvern blast is something you put into the ground, and if you shoot around it, it causes explosions. The heavy bow gun has two. It's the wyvern heart and the wyvern snipe. The wyvern snipe is like a piercing sniper shot, and the wyvern heart is like you turn into a gigantic machine gun. And last but not least, we have the bow. The bow is pretty agile. You're constantly moving around, hitting multiple uh, arrows into the monster's face and other parts, and you can apply tons of coatings to your arrows. As you can see, we have close range power, paralysis, poison, sleep, and blast. Uh, I think for this playthrough, we're gonna be using the gun lance, because it is one of my favorite weapons, and I wanna have fun, so we're gonna be do some fun stuff, I'll show y'all some gun lances. So yeah, we're we doing that. As you can see, it's a little bit bulky, but it's my jam. It allows you to block and also going? do crazy amounts of damage. Alright, so now we need to head over to the canteen, get our first quest. I'll be there waiting. I kinda cut her off there, I'm sorry. I feel like since the update where they added the Devil Drift Monster, <laughs> some of the load times can get a little excessive. Right. So I probably should explain the smithy a little bit better as we head our period. And the ones they deem worth our attention become quests. Hey! Dude, just Over here. To us. Um, okay, I probably should take in the lift, but whatever. Uh, so the smithy, you are going to want to, once you capture or kill a monster, you can either carve it if you kill it, or if you capture it, you'll get a bunch of bonus rewards. Uh, once you do that, you get a bunch of parts, and then you can use those parts to make armor and weapons out of them. So sometimes you'll have to grind certain monsters over and over if you want that set of gear. Right on time. I'll be doing most of the farming off screen, oh, yeah. just so you guys don't have to... Watch me what are we waiting for? The new do a bunch of boring awaits. stuff. Alright, this prime is pretty much just going over the tutorial. So let's just get into it and do our first quest. Kill some Jagresses. Uh, so something I recommend is coming up here and eating. God, there's a tutorial for everything apparently. Just eating. Um, Pretty much, I think we're just going to get some attack up. Um, so right now, as you can see, I can only get a small buff to my attack up and stamina. But once the game progresses, you will unlock more and more ingredients for the canteen. And once you have more, you start getting better things you can eat. And you get better, uh, like better stamina and health rewards from it. So now we're ready to depart. So we're going to get going. Get this cool little animation every time you leave for a quest. Complete the objective to complete the quest. Easy, right? Each quest has an objective. You can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. Let's check the map. Really we ran map. into some Jagras on the way to base. The small monsters, remember? I think we saw them somewhere around here. Want to check it out? Rule number two, use the, the commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. Ready to go. Well, that's real nice of her. Alright, so we're gonna go in here. Oh, yeah. Grab us this. Hey, partner. 
Wanna yeah. get going? So let's get going. Uh-huh. Much you can run around and gather stuff as you saw. I just picked up an herb, and herbs are made for potions, so you definitely want to be grabbing those when you can. These are just regular dinosaurs out here right now, so we don't really have to worry about them. Let's grab some herbs because we definitely want some potions. Ready your weapon before attacking. Keep in mind that what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. When you're investigating or gathering items, you'll generently want to keep your weapon sheathed. Yeah, so all of these guys like let me know everything. You can gather honey and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. I'll mark gathering sites. You definitely want to have mega potions, so we'll definitely be gathering you. gathering those. Uh, was it gonna go this way? Gonna, over here. Okay, I guess I'm just being forced over here. I was gonna go get some bones so I can start making an armor set I really want to make. A pack of Jagras. Those um, are the monsters we're after. Okay. Let's see how you hold up when you're on your own. So let's do this. <laughs> Okay, I just would like to, I accidentally turned on the targeting and I need to turn it off. So this is the, lan the gun lance. As you can see, I can block with my big shield. I can stabby stab with this. But now we get into some fun stuff. Ready for this? Yeah, that's what we call them, the gun lance. They're on the run. Don't let them get away. Grab all the monster Pretty much have a gun, on, a cannon on your smithy. lance, and you can shoot it around. So we're going to carve these real fast, just so we can get the parts. Use it to make some gear later. Just rudimentary gear at the start, but wait, hold on. Over here. Uh, this, we want this. I recommend finding bone piles at the start, getting the bone piles going, because one of our best armor sets you can make at the start is made of mostly bo the bone armor. going. So one tip Oops. I have for anyone who's looking to play with the gun lance is eat whatever you can. You eat through sharpness like nobody's business. This is one of my favorite attacks. You can charge up this cannon. Bada boom. Create some distance, then use a whetstone. As you can see. Once you get your sharpness down pretty low there, I usually like to sharpen at the oh, yellow light. It's a close range weapon to also fire a shell. Find an opening and down your prey with wireless fire. Okay, let's head home. There we go. There's also. Is that? So let's uh, get some cars real fast and then get that bone pile. Luckily, if monsters are pretty grouped up here, we can uh, usually get a good couple cars without having to move. So, yeah, there's that. Get this one real fast. I'll get that bone pile going. See, so, yeah, gunless is one of my favorite. Um, probably the Funnest uh, weapon I've been able to use just because you can get some really wacky combos going. Like, you can pretty much do the slam down, explode, side hit, reload, and just loop that forever. And it's really good for breaking parts off monsters. I and mean, you want to break parts every now and then to get a certain part. So, when you complete your quests, you will see that you get a bunch of rewards. You want to take all this. Uh, I'll go over armor spears a little later, once I actually can use those. You don't really want me to use them at the start. I'm gonna give you a bunch of rewards of this. You get Zenny, you level up your Palico. And then you yourself will level up most of the time at the start. We apparently have a little bit of connection issue happening. I think we may have to stop the episode there. This is apparently we need to connect. Oh no, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. I think we might call it an end, anyways. Um, so yeah.
We explored Astera, we took on our first monsters and got our weapon. Pretty nice start to the series. Remember to uh, subscribe if you guys haven't. You can keep up to date with all the videos we're putting out. Sam is killing it right now. You can watch a live, uh, not live, but um, a video form of our podcast that we do every week. Uh, remember to like and comment on the video. Let me know what you think. If I should have picked a different weapon. Good to see you. All that. It's fine. We're taking down this Jagras. Hmm, so there's no difference in their habitat, but their numbers are increasing. Mm -hmm. I see. It may be safe now, but the Jagras out the air in danger of looking around these parts. We also received ports of a Kesta down here, getting out of hand. This, means, this must be because Zora Mandros made landfall. It's got everything riled up. And listen up. Well, it's going to be your job to quiet them down. We'd like you to investigate this Kesta down here and call their numbers. And he's going to go along with us. I've never had this option come up before, so it's interesting. Alright. All right. And now well, we can start getting login bonuses. Why don't we head over to the Smithy to see what you can do with them? Ah, uh, I just see me doing an online session. That's uh, not something I wanted. But, man, this is uh, gonna be happening. So, um, every day when you log in, you hit triangle, you get a login bonus. So I got a trap tool, that's how you make traps so you can trap monsters, and you get a lucky voucher, and you can use that to double the money from a quest you're doing, and it's really good for making money. So yeah, that was episode 2 of I Can Show You the Monster Underworld. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. You can hit me up on Twitter, at Cody. And until next time, guys. I can show you the Monster Underworld is how I'm exiting this. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Alright, bye!